Hundreds of thousands of children returned to very different classrooms and early learning settings today after an historic eight-week week break due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But things were a lot different. There was hand sanitizer at school gates, desks were spaced apart, social distancing in the playground, and carefully developed hygiene plans were put to the test. But not everyone came back. This afternoon, the Education Minister admitted early numbers showed at least 20% of school children had stayed away and most early childhood centres were half empty. Logan Church reports. It was smiles all around today at Tiaro Primary School in Wellington as this class of year threes and fours reunited. It's been good, really good. Probably my favourite thing so far, like, um, that's not like break is probably what we're doing right now, like PE, like dodgeball and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, it's been really good to be back at school. Well, it's a bit weird and a bit scary, but it's pretty cool that I get to see my friends again. And it's a bit weird, and I felt a bit weird going back into the class because I, I was like, I hadn't seen everyone for so long. Really great, I like to see my friends and my teachers. Have you missed your friends and teachers? Yeah, I have a lot. But it's not school as they know it, as Principal Sue Clement explains. So we were here bright and early, having set up um, over the weekend and at the end of last week. And uh, two of us were down at the bottom of the drive meeting and greeting everybody. And there were other members of staff at, at the different other entrances to greet. Um, those parents who stepped onto the school property had to sign in so that we could contact Trace. Um, otherwise, they left their darlings at the gates and um, the children came up the drive or across the playground into school and um, we'd asked families today to arrive at around 8.30 and not earlier, just so that we knew that we had everything in place. Hand washing and sanitation are now regularly worked into the day. The class behind us are playing with dodgeballs in their first PE lesson in weeks. They have to use hand sanitizer before and afterwards. The sports equipment is also regularly cleaned. Today, these students have been figuring out all of the new rules that have been put in place. Actually now there's three breaks instead of two and we actually have to keep our distance as well. Our parents aren't even allowed to walk up the hill, we have to go down the hill by ourselves. But some parents can, like, like the little, little kids. We have to stay at our own table but we can move to a different table. When you go inside a classroom you have to use hand sanitizer and you wash your hands a lot. And there is like free um, breaks times. I really like that new role. There have also been changes inside the school's nine classrooms. We've also divided up the classes so there in fact been, instead of a really long hour lunchtime, we've had two 30 minute breaks and a 20 minute break during the day. And we've staggered the classes in two groups. So we've had some going out. Um, at one time and then the second morning tea following that and the same at lunchtime, just to kind of break up the, the play spaces and not have too much congestion. And how have the kids responded to that? Um, most of them have been quite happy, although I do know there's a couple who feel a bit aggrieved that their friends are in other classes and they weren't having break time with them. The school's role usually sits at 240, but Sue Clements says 20% of their students have stayed home today. We've contacted all our families and asked them to just let us know exactly where they were at and that we'll retouch base with them again at the end of this week to find out their plans for next week, yeah. And Tiaro Primary School isn't alone. Education Minister Chris Hipkins said school attendance numbers were being monitored, but only 1,200 schools and early childhood centres had so far taken part on what was a busy first morning. As at 10.30am this morning, uh, we had 209,759 students reported via their daily attendance survey as attending school. That's an average attendance rate across the schools that completed the survey of 80%. For early learning services, we had 36,780 children reported as attending an early learning service. That averages out across the early learning services that completed the survey at 53%. At Auckland's Freeman Bay School, students were less out in three phases. At 2.45, then 3 o'clock, the last kids leaving the school gates at 3.30. Parents said having the day off had been a bit of a relief. I mean, I haven't had a problem with it, actually. They've been great at home. Too. So, yeah, but good change. Change is good. It's all contact tracing. You have to put your name and numbers and 
then you have to sign out, sign in, so both things. So it's properly done and the children have been spaced separately. Our teacher has put the marking, so it's all what we are doing as per level two. Spending um, near two months with kids at home, yes. Uh, kids are easily bored and yes. So now, yes, take some space for me and for them. I found it a little bit chaotic today, but I hope tomorrow it will be better because yesterday uh, my husband was the one who read the email about the process and I didn't know that I will be the one to pick up my kid today, so I wasn't um, a bit... Uh, so this is a bit surprising. Anne's kids were also loving being back in the classroom. I went out and got, and I raced on the bikes, and it was really fun. I'm very happy. What was the best part about being back? I can see my friend and my sisters and my teacher. There was a lot of hand sanitizer that we had to use and a lot of washing hands. The most exciting thing about school was, well, I got to see my friends in person instead of talking to them on the phone and on Teams and all of that. This afternoon, the Director General of Health, Ashley Bloomfield, wanted to reassure any parents that might be nervous sending their kids back to school. Well, I hope that they will be reassured as well um, over coming days that um, the risk is very, very low, if they're at all, and that schools have done an enormous amount to ensure that they are keeping students uh, and staff safe in the school environment. For Checkpoint, Logan Church.